Welcome back to another Trucker Tim video. You find me at Scania Truck East, Wellingborough. They've invited me down today to have a look and a drive of the new Scania Super. And here she is. Like I said, she's a new Scania Super. These are just starting to come through now. A 13 litre engine and it's got 8% better fuel economy. Loads of new technology. Nothing is the same on this engine. Brand new gearbox, brand new rear axle. Let's take a little look around her then. She's a tag axle. We like that. She's a 70, oh, lights have just gone off. I'll put them on for the video. What's this? Oh, oh my God. Ah. What's this boat button on the key fob? What's that do? Oh, I've also been given this lovely Scania jacket. I like this on the hub, look at that. Brand new Durabrites. Oh yes, it's got a night cooler. It's got a full wet kit fitted. It's a 72 plate as well. Like I say, these are just starting to come through now and they've registered this truck today, especially for trucker Tim. So let's take a little look inside then. Oh, that new truck smell just hits you. <sighs> right, let's climb aboard then. <sighs> Does things to me. Ooh, nice. So this is my point of view from inside. Shut the door. I'm very excited to take this out for a drive, guys. A brand new 72 plate Scania. What? I've got my point of view strap as well. So we'll get you on the head and get proper point of views in here. I'd love a brand new truck. Mm. One day, one day, one day. So let's slip the shoes off and have a look around in the cab then. So in here we've got, oh, yep. Yeah. Yep, yeah, we've got a fridge. And in here, a little storage locker. We've got a TV bracket here installed, ready for your TV. Use all your bed controls here. All this locker space, look at that. Look at it all. Awesome. Then over this side above the driver's seat, another big storage locker with a 12 volt point there. Open this one, Hey, microwave. And then in this one, this one's got a lock on it. Another storage locker. Very good, very nice. And then this little this little drawer here. It's your fifth wheel and book. And then this drawer here, just a drawer with something in it. Anyway, let's stop messing about, get you on the head and take this out for a drive. I think when we get back as well, we can have a look around that fire engine. So it's a fire engine without the back bit on. So that'd be pretty cool to look. Oh, left that locker open. So that'll be pretty cool to look at when we get back. I've took my Scania jacket off. Right, let's get the old girl started up. Got the Scania logo pop up on the dash there. As you can see, this lorry has only done 141 miles. Is it on? Yeah, I think it's on. It's so quiet. So I'm just getting my seat adjusted to how I want it. And I've just noticed it's got heated seats, air cool seats, and whatever else this does. Does this massage you as well? Probably. Anyway, let's shut that. So you've got all your light switches on here, your window opening, uh, mirror adjust. And this is your gear selector. What is all this? I don't actually know. It's got so many gadgets and things to help with like fuel efficiency and everything else. It's like, I mean, look at all these buttons. I think it's got every option ticked. There's a food bank spaces here. But apart from that, it looks like it's got everything. I don't know where to start. I'll tell you what, let's get the phone in this phone holder here. Look at that. I suppose you can put tablets in there and everything. It's pretty cool. Like that. Oh, yeah, you can twist it that way. Oh, nice, nice. How do you work this wheel? Here we go. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. That's good. We like a steering wheel with a good bit of tilt on it. Oh, I'm so excited. I've actually got the excitement as if I've just bought this lorry and I'm taking it home for myself, but I'm not. Drive. So like we've got to drop down off this curb here. Ooh. Oh God. So like I say, it's got a brand new gearbox and engine. There we go. Oh my God, the gear change is so smooth. This is like night and day to my Volvo at Data Shredders. This is so nice. Let's go for a drive. He said I can take it wherever I want. I'll take it home if you like. Let's go for a cruise. I could do with some food. Can we get through the drive through in this? Yeah, this is good. Let's give it a little. Wow. Oh, did you hear that little blow off? Nice. Is this the exhaust brake? How do we get that on? Oh, here we go. Whoa. That's good as well. 
Listen to the window. How smooth it is. Here we go. <laughs> Whoa. Here it goes. I'll tell you what we'll do, actually. When I worked for Rouse, I used to come here all of the time to rank Hovis finder. Let's turn that exhaust brake off. To rank Hovis. And I haven't been down here in a truck for about oh, eight, nine years. Oh man, this brings back memories. Queuing up here, you can see the tram lines where the trucks queue. And then you get to the front of the queue eventually. There's a, a follower. And then you get to the front of the queue eventually and wait for the barrier to lift up. Go on the way bridge, then go around there. Oh my God. Oh, look at the turning circle. Look at the turning circle. Look. <laughs> look. Oh my God. This is bonkers. Turning around on this little tight spot. <laughs> I got a follower here. Look. Hello, CT truck. We need hey! <laughs> How's it going? Oh. I'm filming. Do you mind being on YouTube? Not a problem. Where are you looking, for? Are you looking somewhere? Or? No, I'm just taking this for a test drive. Oh are you? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> oh, well, that'll be that'll be on YouTube at some point. Oh, well, yeah, I'll see you on your reels on Facebook. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> nice to meet you. Hey, Cheers, mate. <laughs> awesome. I can't believe go over the turning circle though. The turning circle is mad. Whoa! It's that tag axle that does that. God, it pulls like you wouldn't believe. 560. Jesus Christ! Wow! I want one. So obviously this Scania is completely the other end of the spectrum to my 4 series I'm currently restoring. <laughs> <laughs> Completely different. Get some tones! It's your generic Scania tone there. <gasps> oh, collision warning. I didn't think I was going to have a collision. Obviously, you don't get a real sense of the power when you haven't got a trailer on the back with a load on. Oh, God. Oh, don't, don't hit it. Oh. Ah, so the orange light there. Are your sensors. See the orange light that came on when the lady was walking down the side there? Oh, brakes are good. We better give some 72 plate tangs. <laughs> Scania super tangs. Should have bought my tang hat. What's this? A curve is approaching. Oh my God, it knows a bend's approaching. It must be done by the sat nav or something. Over we go. I know there's a KFC up here. Here it is, look. Has it got a drive through? Look at that tag. Look how we look how we swung in there then. That's bonkers. Oh look, I'm going here for my Volvo thing. <laughs> Reverse. There we go. That she'll do. Let's turn her off. In a 72 plate, 560 super at KFC. Yeah, so these are all your sensors here that detect if anything's in your blind spot. Absolutely love a tag. A fire extinguisher up there. Hopefully we won't need that today. She does look good sitting there. The first bit of grease on that fifth wheel. Right, let's go get some food. Be embarrassing if that said declined. Now, I don't think we should eat this in the cab, should we? So let's eat it on the catwalk. Living the dream here. This looks good. Tones. Oh no. Well, that was good. Put this in the bin and then get cracking back to Scania, I suppose. I think when we go back, we'll go back on the dual carriageway. Try it on there. I think that's probably the best KFC I've ever had, eating it off the back of a brand new Scania. Whew, get some aircon on, I think. Oh, has he flashed me up? Thank you, mate. Sorry, I weren't looking. I hate it when people do that to me, flash them out and they don't look. Anywho, let's go. Laura's there on nights out. Give me the beans. There we are, we're flat out. This is nice. And would you look at that? It drives in a straight line. Doesn't pull to the left or right. 
That's lovely. On my lot, I have to pull on it ever so slightly all the time. It's been tracked and looked at and everything, but it still pulls a little bit. God knows what's wrong with it. Nice and quiet, comfortable. Tell you what, when you've got a tag axle, you don't have to feel the back end swaying about a bit. But this is just so relaxing. It's just a really, really lovely place to be. Never been down here before. Oh God, I'm gonna get dirty. Oh God, look at these roads. <gasps> oh no. God. Oh, what a lovely bridge to go over. Look at this, this is fancy. Hey, oh nice. Lovely little evening ride out. Thank you. Why did I say thank you? It's traffic lights. Oh. Whoa, what was that? It just burped. I've had a lovely evening ride out in a 72 plate Scania Super to get KFC. The life of Trucker Tim these days. Oh, unbelievable pulling power. I'd really like to take it with a fully loaded trailer on just to like test it out properly. Oh, what the hell? Oh, that's the white line thing, isn't it? Telling me I've gone over the white lines. Put into the dip. Oh, I made my stomach go over with that KFC in it. Oh, oh dear. Oh, another order on the merch store there. Thank you very much, whoever that was. This truck is so, so lovely. The engine is so smooth, the gearbox, the well, everything. You can't even feel the gear changes. They all just sort of blend into one another and they're so quick. It's got so much power. It really does put you back in your seat. Like I said, I'd love to try it with a full load on just to see how well it does really pull. I think I'm gonna have to ring Charles and Dean, see what they can do on this. I'll put Charles and Dean's link in the description so they finance my truck for me and they can finance a truck for you, a car, anything, cows, sheep, machinery, absolutely anything, they can finance it all. So I'll put their link in the description. So if you're looking for a new car, you wanna buy a truck to do up like I have, or a truck for your business, or, uh, or, or just anything really, click the link below and that'll take you straight to my landing page at Charles and Dean. You can fill out a little form there and they'll get back to you with a quote. And they made the process of me buying my Scania a breeze really, just a few details and we were done. Okay, here we are, turning back up at Scania Truck East Wellingborough. I have had an awesome evening ride out. Let's get it back up on the path here, I think. Oh, yeah. Look, it handles that like it's nothing. Put it back where it was. I keep going here to change gear. I think I'm in my Volvo, but I'm not. Oh, another order. Thank you very much. Reverse. Straighten up, straighten up, Timbo, straighten up. Neutral. This is neutral. Flick it around like that. That's your drive. Flick it back for neutral and reverse is just push it that way and then that way. Easy as that, really. Yeah, I want it. Where do I sign? Get me scan your jacket on and we'll hop out. So while we're here then, let's have a look in the side locker. Yeah, look at that. That's a really handy little space there. And the big side locker. Yeah, good. Oh, there's another number plate for the trailer. And some other little bits and bobs here. How's the handbook look? Brand new Scania handbook. Shut that. Shut that one up. Have a look in the passenger side real quick. Oh, another really big side locker. Plenty of storage. Yes, it definitely gets my approval. So all of the fuel efficiency is basically done by this box here. Don't really know much about it, to be honest. The technical specifications is a little bit beyond me. Fuel tank. Uh, it looks like he's opened up the fire truck there for us to have a little look at. She's definitely something else. But yeah, I think this is definitely something we need to look at for the channel. I mean, going forward with getting my operator's license and uh, doing stuff for myself, owner operator. Yeah. Yeah. So let's head on over at Scania Truck East Wellingborough and have a look at this. So it's a fire truck without the back bit on and no back seats yet. Because obviously we'll have back seats in for the uh, for the fire crew. Let's take a little look inside first then. Oh, I'm in the fire engine. Truck a Tim in a fire engine. What the flip? Ooh. No radio fitted. I don't suppose they need a radio. I suppose this will have all their communications equipment and everything fitted in it. Obviously this is a brand new fire engine. It's not even got the back bit on it yet, whatever you call it. And I suppose like a 
I don't know, a workshop on the back. Like, I don't really know. I don't, I don't. I don't know. I don't know. If anyone knows what the bit on the back of a fire engine is called, let me know in the comments. But it's probably just, it's probably just a fire engine, isn't it? Yeah. Anyway, shut up, Tim. Um, this obviously a brand new fire engine. It's not been out yet. But I wonder how many fires this truck that I'm sitting in right now will go out to. How many car accidents? How many lives it will save? Hmm. And shut all four doors up. Look at that. What's this? What's the step? And then when you shut it. That's snazzy, we like that. Try that again. I'd do that all day. <laughs> this is obviously where the fuel tanks will sit. Ah, oh, this is the water pump on the back, look. In here, you've got the water pump. It pumps out all the water. Come around this side. I love that. This is only a P280, but I bet it flies along. I'd love to drive a fire engine. Put all the lights on, just go through all the traffic and barge everyone out of the way. But yeah, there we go. Let's go and see what else we can have a look at. Look at this. I like this old fuel pump. Well, it's not an old fuel pump. It's quite modern, but it's old look alike. I'd like that in my man cave. A few bits of trucker tin merch in there on display. So there we go, it's getting dark now. I've pulled the Outlander up. Thank you so much to Scania Truck East Wellingborough for letting me come and have a drive of this. It's been absolutely awesome. I've just had a proper full guided tour here at Wellingborough as well. I couldn't film all that because there's some like confident confidential stuff around and other people's trucks, so I couldn't film that, but I had a look in the parts store and everything. This has got me wanting a brand new truck, guys. We're gonna have to look into getting one, aren't we, for the channel. Look at their workshops here. They're 24-7 servicing, MOT in here all the time. I'm gonna have to take note of this registration plate so we can put it in Google in a few months time to see who's bought it. And then I can say, I had a KFC with that truck when it was on demo, brand new. Yeah, but like I say, it's eight o'clock at night now. Mrs. Trucker Tim is not gonna be happy with me. Open this door. Look at all the stuff I've got given as well while I'm here in this nice truck East bag. Got all sorts of goodies in here. Flasks, pens, everything. A brand new jacket for me and one for Mrs. Trucker Tim as well. Chuck that in there. Thank you so much for watching, guys. I really hope you enjoyed this little video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. If you did it for any particular reason, you can also give us a thumbs down. I'm not bothered. Please leave a comment. Let me know what you thought as well. I read all of your comments. I give them all a little heart. And don't forget to hit that subscribe button for plenty more videos to come, whether it be a trucking vlog, a scan your build video, going to look around some more new trucks, different trucks. I do all sorts on this channel these days. So yeah, thank you so much for watching, guys. And I'll speak to you on the next one. Ciao.